Well, it was Antifa versus white nationalists all over again last Friday at Colorado State University. But what controversial event marked the occasion? Was Richard Spencer romanticizing the white ethnostate? Was Milo Yiannopoulos proclaiming he doesn't believe in lesbians? No, the incendiary speaker at Colorado State was none other than Charlie Kirk, founder of Turning Point USA, the group whose radical mission is to promote the principles of freedom, free markets, and limited government. Kill yourself! Here are some of the slogans of Turning Point USA, the group Antifa was apparently protesting. Socialism sucks. Taxation is theft. These are pretty boilerplate ideas for the conservative libertarian movement. I mean, honestly, what was he saying that got these kids riled up? Hey guys, hey guys, I'm Charlie Kirk, and big government sucks. And then the rioting commences. But seriously, here's a part of his speech Antifa group Unicorn Riot picked out. So white privilege is a myth and a lie and should be completely destroyed. It's rooted in racism. It is a racist idea. It is a racist idea. And this isn't a one-time stunt by Antifa. No, it looks like they'll wreak havoc at another Kirk event in April at the University of Central Florida if their demands aren't met. Orlando Antifa said, UCF, are you aware that Charlie Kirk's last event was disrupted by violent neo-Nazis? You're giving him a platform on campus April 10th. Why are you endangering student safety? Rescind Charlie Kirk's speech. Uphold your obligation to protect your students. And then they stupidly show an article with a picture of a white nationalist injured by Antifa, even though it looked like there was violence on both sides on Friday. On their protest page for Kirk's UCF event, the revolutionary socialist group Orlando Workers League makes this clever bit of guilt by association, saying, TPUSA, who campaigns under the same free speech pseudo-arguments pioneered by the alt-right, keeps a dossier of professors whose ideas they find dangerous. The reality is that every fascist movement must have a public face, a way to gain a foothold in the popular conscience. What kinds of ideas do these guys think they're protesting? Do they honestly think the guy who's against big government is also a fascist? And why are the white nationalists showing up? It could be that each side consists of attention seekers starving for more media attention to match the 2017 Berkeley coverage. But more likely, it represents an escalation of the radicalism on both the far right and far left, with the pretty standard, unobjectionable capitalist Kirk taking on the role of savior of the white race for the one side and evil Nazi for the other. For Campus Unmasked, I'm Rob Shimshock. If you like this video and support our mission, please make sure to comment and subscribe. If something happens on your campus and you'd like us to investigate, send us details using the form on campusunmasked.com.